Oh, hi YouTube. This is uh, Pim Withers. This is the uh, third part of the uh, creamery build. Um, done a little bit of scenery this week. Um, just weathered up this uh, Western Ranger as well. I'll go up to doing the faded uh, paint effect. And obviously this uh, now showing uh, the train or a western in on the milk so obviously we've got uh, got this building in place um, we've got the paving done in behind I had this um, I think it was a Scaledale factory unit which I thought we could work in in behind I'll have to make up a new sign and change that name on it and then over there I made up a little galvanised shed and that was really, I had a load of off cuts, bits and pieces so I um, made that up to, you know, just as a little corner filler and I'll have a look across here in a minute and we've got the uh, tanks in place and we'll just plan around here in a minute just have a look here. The clay hoods coming through on the Task 44. This is a new addition. I think it's a Lord and Butler model. And that came pre weathered. Uh, good old rake of clay hoods. One of my favourites. So what we've um, been up to, obviously this cot or house that I did with the uh, scribed stone effect has been sat here for quite a while and I decided to uh, scenic in this little corner. Got some trees to do on that embankment. Obviously the hedges made out of the old pan scrubs, uh, a little bit of scatter stuck to them. Um, a lot of fine detailing to do but I thought I would have a week of doing a bit of scenery so and obviously this side we had a old polystyrene hill which I've seen it glass up and put a little farm gate in there got a little level crossing to do across there and I had a scale dale chapel which I wasn't over keen on but I thought I'll put it up on that hill and set it into the trees so finished off that little bit quite nicely and then obviously uh, put all the paving down dropped a few cars and vans in around got tanks in place obviously the pipe work on top a little bit of girder going across there with some more pipe work running through and uh, it's uh, made quite a nice scene there obviously a lot of extra detailing to do which will probably take uh, place over the next uh, month or two but it's nice to actually see it you know fairly well covered in I think it's all uh, all turned out well sorry if there's a fluorescent fitting behind there which uh, is throwing a lot of light onto this but uh, on the whole Things worked out well. But I got a few clips, we'll have a little bit of running session, just tag on to this to finish off. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And as I say, bye for now. I'll just add a PS on this. This um class 40 I picked up. Um I bought this and the 44 from a fellow YouTuber and uh, when it arrived it was in pristine condition so I thought uh, I'd have a little bash at weathering up so uh, we've given this quite a heavy weathering faded the paint a little bit which uh, I think has worked out quite well um, one of my 
first attempts on a new loco are quite pleasing. So, uh, a nice loco, and that one came with Lego Man Biffo Sounds. So, uh, quite an awesome uh, looking locomotive now. Finished it off quite nicely. So, uh, like I say, we'll go on and have a running session now. Uh, the HST that you see running, that's got Lego Man Biffo Sound both ends. Um, yeah, really nice Legos. Anyway, for the second time we'll say bye for now.